In our next step, we're going to change this to a template. I'm going to select the area that I want to be editable in the template. You leave everything out that you will not change on any page, which is basically the header here. All the content that's going to change on Brandon's page will be inside this gray area. So we're going to insert template object and basically we just want to make this an editable region. And then that will convert this to a template. And we'll call it editable content and hit OK. Now when I look at the screen sort of hard to see here. Okay, now you can see I'm in main template HTML. And I want to, and this is get become editable, I'm going to choose File, Save as Template, and uh, I don't have it in an existing site. We'll go ahead and save it this way. It's in my other site. Update links, yes. Then if I try to create a new file, I can create a new file from a template, which I now can add content here, but you'll see that the rest of the areas are blocked out. If I want to save this, I would save it as index. And then I would save it as bio, portfolio, resume, and contact with the actual link names that I used in my previous version. And then I've got my whole blank site set up and I can start working on content.